Ah, yeah. Honest discussion right here. Do you remember this sexist chick, the one that said that if a man tries to help out a woman in any way, they're being benevolently sexist? Well, I got a chance to talk to her last night live, and actually we sort of all got her point completely wrong, including myself. In all seriousness, if you haven't subscribed to Healthy Addict yet, I highly, highly recommend you do. Not only is she an awesome person to talk to, and generally very smart and well-meaning and just a lot of fun to be around, but her work with the Secular Student Alliance makes it that she's probably done more for atheism than any other individual person in our little YouTube community. Seriously, there's probably a dozen or more atheists that have come out of the closet and uh, found other atheists to be around thanks to her work uh, with the Secular Student Alliance. I think without her it would not be the great force that it is today, or at least not as great. Sure, disagree with her if you feel it's warranted. This atheism isn't a toe-the-line group. Just remember to respect the things she's done. Now if you haven't seen the sexism videos in question, links are in the underbar uh, and that way you can get up to speed. After talking with Ashley, I think I've bridged the communication gap and found out why everyone doesn't seem to understand what the other person's saying. She was not, and I repeat, not arguing that men who do nice things for women are being sexist by default, benevolently or otherwise. If you see a woman who needs help, her recommendation would be to help her out, whether you're a man or a woman, as you see fit. It's just best if you don't do it simply because she's a woman. Now, on to the study that she cited. The study from her perspective was not about showing what is or is not benevolent sexism. More so that a man helping out a woman can reinforce some unconscious messages in the female brain. Let me be clear. She was not condemning the actions of men with any sort of example. Rather, she was highlighting this event to show how if a woman perceives a benevolently sexist act, even if in reality he was not being sexist in any way, but just being helpful to, her, to a human being, that perception can cause psychological damage. Uh, therefore, the legitimate acts of benevolent sexism will be just as psychologically damaging, if not more so. The only point that Ashley was trying to get past, really, when it comes down to it, is that benevolent sexism can be harmful. Not what is or is not benevolently sexist. She defines it at some points, but that wasn't the purpose of the video. What everyone else thought Ashley was trying to do was showing that any man who helps a woman out is being benevolently sexist. Not what she meant. She also said she liked my points on the military keeping women out, and that it probably would have been better if the study had asked the women if they were uh, attracted to the male RA. Apparently, even a glance from the male RA to the woman in question would increase the self-body surveillance that she was talking about. Which is in line with my hypothesis that the findings were caused by attraction, but doesn't wholly confirm it. So in brief, this was mainly a miscommunication, which is to be expected with such a nuanced topic as feminism. And guys, let's give Ashley props for talking about sexism in a male-dominated forum such as YouTube. Not the easiest thing. That's about it. Have a nice day. Honest Discussioner, out.